Hey, how's it going guys? Today is April 18th. It's beautiful. It's like 75 and sunny and um, we are out in the foothills today hiking some habitat, checking some rookeries and whatnot. We're going to hope to see a uh, prairie rattlesnake today, which would be my first of the year, or a bull snake, which would also be my first of the year, um, or a prairie lizard, which would not be my first of the year, but first in this county. Um, so yeah, new habitat. Haven't been here since September of last year. It's a uh, beautiful beautiful area uh, i've only ever seen one snake here before is a bull snake about this time last year so uh hopefully we see a couple more there also might be black-headed snakes and milk snakes here so i'm gonna check a couple rocks as well but yeah good stuff and i'll keep you posted when when hopefully when i see something well, this isn't what you want to see dior bull snake did not see a single herp while i was hiking and now i'm driving home and Man, that sucks. Hey guys, today's April 19th. It's our last day before we get a uh, big storm system coming in that's going to drop temps down. And uh, I'm out here again in the front of range foothills. We're looking for snakes under rocks today, hopefully. Uh, plains black headed snakes, milk snakes, racers, birds. Anything goes today. Pretty good feeling. Weather looks pretty good. It's 60 or so, getting cloudier. So yeah. I'll keep you guys back. All right, guys, would you believe it? There you go. Jefferson County Plains Black-Headed Snake. These guys do not turn up in Jefferson County very often. So, oh my God, I'm stoked. He was under this rock. Obviously, I'll put the rock back in a, the way it was um, in a second. But holy cow, that is just awesome. Wow, that was exactly what I was hoping to see today. Oh my God, I am so stoked. I know this snake doesn't look like much. Um, Cause yeah, they're not very big. But yeah, so these guys are. So these guys, I mean, the quality is good right now. I cannot see because of the glare. There we go. I think it's in focus now. So these guys are called Plains Black-Headed Snakes because I get a look at the head if I can. There you go. Their heads are black. There's a good look at them. So that is a Plains Black-Headed Snake Tantilla Nidriceps. Um, this is going to be the fourth one I've ever seen. And I've now seen them in three different counties, which is pretty sweet. Oh my god, that is just awesome. That's probably probably my favorite find all year so far. Um, that thing is just awesome. I know it doesn't look like much, but trust me, that's a, that's a pretty big deal. That's a pretty cool snake right there. My macro lens on. Yeah, so that is a Plains black headed snake. Oh, that thing is super cool. That's a really good look at it. Sweet. That is super cool. Wow. Plains black headed snake. Just crawling through this rock. Rock face. That's awesome. Wow. Well, what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Jeez Louise. What a snake. Oh, sorry. What a snake. That's just, that is super cool. Sorry, I was looking at him and not the phone. Awesome, wow. Nice. All right, releasing this Tantilla back under his rock. There he goes. Wow. Just beautiful habitat too, that's sweet. All right, Juvie Yellow-Bellied Racer. Under this rock. Another, what I'm noticing, both snakes I flipped today have been under rocks with very, whoa, that's kind of cool, very, very um, tight seals, so I'm um, definitely going to keep that in mind, but wow, so two snakes, that is uh, really nice. This is my third racer of the year, first one I flipped, so um, I think snake of the year, I mean, this, this habitat, I mean, it's just amazing. One of my favorite places I've ever flipped, to be honest. It's awesome that I get to see snakes in such a beautiful area. This is a really small juvie racer, too. I bet it was born last fall, if I had to guess. Um, yeah. Good deal. Good deal. Two species today. Very nice. Another look at this guy. We're going to try to pose him and get some pictures of the scenic backdrop. But yeah, really, really fun day so far. Two snakes, and uh, I still have a couple hours left to go, so... At this rate, hoping for a milk. But yeah, racer and a tantilla. This guy's probably been the nicest, calmest racer I've ever found. He's been so chill. It's probably because it's pretty cold outside. I mean, it's 
nice and cloudy, but gosh, I mean, this habitat is just, it's just incredible. So, wow, that's just awesome. What a snake, what a day. And we're still got a couple hours left to go. So sweet, gonna go put this guy back. In. What a day. Film the release clip, maybe. It's really cold, so I don't know if he'll actually go under. There, there he goes, awesome. Boom. Racer, racer, racer. What a day. I'm trying to cover this back up a little bit. Sweet. Two species. Awesome. So That's I was awesome. wondering where all the uh, Scolopendra centipedes were, uh, which are what the uh, Tantilla eat. And um, uh, there's your answer. Jeez, Louise. That thing's bigger than the Tantilla we saw. Wow. Cool. Cool to see that. Common desert centipede, I think, is the common name of those. Look at this. It's like droppling or hailing or snowing i don't know what it's doing it's crazy i was finding snakes like two hours ago and now it's doing this colorado hey guys today is april 24th i'm uh i got the day off from school so i'm out east looking for some lion snakes we're gonna get a bull snake today we're just out having a good time we're gonna herp um a couple different spots today so uh yeah i'll uh we'll see how it goes nothing too crazy but there's a painted turtle out there there's a couple painted turtles i'm just walking through this wetland hoping to see stuff um, bunch of turtles, nothing else. Yeah, we got hella turtles. There's like, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, at least five on this raft thing. So, cool. There's at least one painted turtle. The one closest to me is a painted turtle. I can't tell what any of the others are right now. There's another painted turtle. They might all be painted turtles. I'm not sure, but cool. All right, where is it? There it is, right there. Oh, sorry. So that is a common snapping turtle. That was my second one of the year, but I forgot to film the other one. So. First one that you guys are seeing. Lots of turtles today. No snakes or anything else yet, but cool. Common snapping turtle. That's pretty good to see. I was hoping to see one here, so here you go. It's a two species of herbs for the day. So yeah, this little wetland right behind me, it has a lot of painted turtles and snappers. Um, my goal for today is to see five species of herb. Oh, there's a red-tailed hawk right there. Uh, five species of herb. So far we have two, both turtles. I'd love to see. Today's main goals are um, any line skink and line snake. Never seen the skink before. I've only ever seen one lion snake, and it was down in uh, southeastern Colorado. So um, it'd be awesome to see both of those today if I can. I'm not really in habitat for them right now, but I will be in about an hour or so. So yeah. Okay, so not a herb, but these are white-faced ibises. Um, ooh, that's a great look at them. Yeah, so these guys are not very common at all in Colorado. So. That's a really cool so I, know I featured these guys in the last video, but this is a uh, giant floater mussel again. So I'm birding right now because I haven't really seen any herbs other than the snapping turtle. Um, Avocets, pelicans, there's an avocet right there. Lots of cool stuff. Um, I saw some white-faced ibises earlier too, which was pretty neat. But yeah, so um, yeah. I'm gonna probably change spots here in about an hour or so, go to an area that'll have more herp related things, hopefully. Um, but yeah, cool. Here, it's not gonna be very good footage, but those are American Avocets. So that's What's up guys? I made it to my second spot, the uh, kind of main event for the day. At the first spot, I didn't really see any herps other than some painted turtles and a snapping turtle, um, but I saw two um, bird lifers, which was really cool, a uh, plover, and a um, white-faced ibis, which was pretty neat. But now we're at a, uh, a new spot out east in the plains. Found a nice little open space out here that has line snakes, weirdus, everything fun. So um, I saw a ton of pronghorn driving out here too, which is pretty neat. But yeah, so we're just gonna hopefully find some stuff to flip out here. If not, hopefully just get lucky and walk something. And um, yeah, should be a fun day. There's this, this spot since wandering garter snake. Yeah. It's getting strung all day, but finally found something. Put this guy back. get like a lot of these too. They get like thousands, don't they? Yeah, some of them do. Oh, well. Sorry, I'm not talking. No, no, no. It's <laughs> worse. And this sucks. This is my second dead bull snake this year, and I haven't even seen one live one. Just flipped a racer, which apparently is not at all a <laughs> common <laughs> common thing this to is see like here. the second one we've ever seen. Here. Sweet. That thing's nice looking too. That is my fourth racer of the year. Look nice. at that. Two rocks later, my first Plains Garter Snake of the Year, Thamnophis Radix. With the racer, no less. Awesome, this little this little spot, little wash right here in a neighborhood park turning up like crazy. <laughs> Beautiful radix. Man, I do not see 
a lot of these radix around so i'm pretty stoked about that this radix racer duo oh, sorry. <laughs> oh no you're fine you're fine literally these guys are just posing up really nicely for us yeah, cool it's beautiful radix man i love these these snakes are awesome <laughs> he scared the shit out of me i thought he was gonna lurch right at my hand Dude, oh, these my two snakes are just freaking awesome they're both just sitting here staring at us <laughs> not moving or anything this is awesome. Three snakes so far today. After I was hiking by myself for like four hours and didn't see anything. I'm gonna just get, please don't, please don't. He's gonna bite you, you again, I got it. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. Well, I guess I can... That's a bad spot to let him, here, I'm gonna let him go. Yeah, yeah. Alright, you good? Yep. And there he goes. Oh, he's like coiled up down there. You see that? Oh, there he goes. No. First Thamnophis radix of the year. Back he goes. Sweet. Gavin clutching up, taking us to the... Yeah, we are killing best. it. Four snakes. Bigger wandering garter. Sweet. Just in a little suburban area. We're just walking rocks along this little ridge right here. And uh, yeah. Fourth snake of the day. Second wandering girder. Yeah. Cool. Come on, give me a line snake. Oh, oh, grab it. I, I got it. You got it? You got the line snake? Oh shit, I didn't even see that. Oh my god, what a flip. Oh, I got the skink, I got the skink. That was my life for many line skink and... <sighs> there you are, big man. Life for the heck out of me. Life for uh, northern many line skink. That is fucking awesome. YouTube's gonna... Take my video down for swearing but <laughs> oh that is sweet so this is my lifer many line skink thanks gavin Woo! oh so these dudes are um they'll actually drop their tails if you spook them so we're trying to be pretty careful with him but yeah cool look at There's this no... we flipped another one like one more rock it's freaking huge dude that's crazy. Nice. All right, this rock I has nothing under it. There, we have no idea what's under this rock. Oh my god! <laughs> Northern many line skink. That's crazy. Look at that. We got three of them. That's crazy. Wow. And in our day with a beaver, if I can find it, there it is. American beaver. Cool. Back for another amphibian night. It's raining like crazy right now, and the leopard frog egg mass from last time out has tadpoles. That is super cool. We were walking between pools, and we found a leopard frog. Sweet! My favorite amphibian in this area by far. Awesome. First of probably. Uh, do you want us to many... grab him if it looks like he's gonna swim away? Oh yeah, for sure. Okay. First of many. Oil I mean, close by. Yeah, Me? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Another one. This one is really nice looking. Really cool patterns on this one. Man, we are killing it with the chorus frogs. I've already seen three. I'm gonna have to guess it's because it's really chilly outside. Uh, it's like 40 and rain right now, so that's probably why they're cool. Thanks, Caden. So nice. we changed spots. So a little reliable for salamanders and got one. So cool. see, hopefully a couple. See a couple. How far out was he? Slowest one ever. Yeah, it is raining so hard and it is so muddy that there's number two. All right, so we are at a new area looking for snakes today. And under like our fourth rock of the day, we flipped this tiny juvenile racer. So very good start. Um, awesome. We're really hoping for a milk snake today. That's the big goal, but juvenile racer. Great way to start. Awesome. First snake of the day. We've only been here for like five minutes, so... That was a great sign. Really hoping for lots of individual snakes and for a lot of species. So that's a that's a great. Right, so we were just walking habitat, looking for rocks to flip, and we have this really angry racer. It's a pretty big one. Who is not? I want to try to get him to. I think he's gonna strike at my my stick. There. I want to just try to keep him pinned in. Look at that yellow belly. Wow. This one's fat too. 
I do not want to pick this one up because he'll definitely rip me up. But oh, and there he goes. Oh, I need to get pictures. Wandering garter snake. I think this. I don't even know how many I've seen this year. This is the first one I've seen in this county, though. So cool. This one is interesting. The ones that live up at higher elevations look a little different than the lower elevation ones. And this one looks more high elevation than low. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, wandering garter snake number three. All right, nice wandering garter. This one's pretty big, so that's cool. Put it back under the rock. There he goes. I knew that this rock would have something interesting under it, not a fossorial, because it has a lot of space under it. It's not really sealed in the ground well, but it's just a nice rock. We're close to a creek, so I was expecting either that or a bull snake. Oh, there he is up there. Had no interest in staying under his rock, I guess. So, let's see where he's going. See him right there in the middle of your screen. Nice wandering garter snake. First in this county. Cool. Good day so far. Two species, three snakes. Milk snake. Yeah, that's a milk snake. Oh my god. No, it went under this big rock. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, Western milk, that's amazing. Those are all boreal chorus frogs. I did not expect to hear boreal chorus frogs up here, but there's a lot of them, so cool. We're gonna go see if we can get a glimpse at any. I'm gonna guess probably not, but man, I am like kind of heartbroken by the uh, that milk snake that we lost, but you know, is what it is. All right, guys, that'll do it for um, that little kind of mini video. I'm headed down to uh, southeastern Colorado this weekend to uh, hopefully get some lifers checked off we're going down uh for the weekend gonna do some flipping so um yeah should be a good time but thank you for watching if you enjoyed it like and subscribe lots more videos on the way so um yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you guys this weekend down in southeastern colorado what's up guys welcome back to the <laughs> 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 you can't even turn around oh